Hey guys, this is Coach Bihalski here at Cousins Martial Arts. I'm here today with our teens and adults virtual lesson for today. Okay, so we're going to get ourselves warmed up with a couple of different exercises. First one, we're going to do a bridge position and we're going to bring our knees up. So you're going to lay down on your back, put your hands right at your sides. You're going to drive the hips up and right from here, well, all we want to do is bring our knees up towards our chest, okay? All right. So, not a terribly difficult exercise, a little different. You're going to feel it in your core, and you're going to feel this in your legs too, okay? All right, a couple more. You can do this for about 15 seconds. Good, okay? Let's bring the legs down. Bring your hands out to your sides, okay? Right from here, you're going to reach up and touch the other leg as you bring it up, okay? This is going to really help warm up that core, all right? So make sure you do it on alternating sides. Ready? And go. Make sure you exhale every time you bring your leg up. A couple more. And good. All right. Last one. We're also going to help get our arms warmed up, okay? So this is going to be an arm and a hip type thing. Right from here, give yourself a nice parallel stance right here. Hands up. You're going to bring this right across like you're doing an uppercut, okay? So you're going to move those hips and move those arms, okay? This will help warm up the shoulders and get the blood flowing through our arms, okay? There you go. A couple more. Almost there. Nice. Good work. Okay. So, you can actually feel some blood flowing now, all right? I know it's warm out there. Actually, I'm doing this towards this, uh, this rainstorm we're having, so hopefully we don't lose power. And if I do, I apologize, but we got a battery-operated camera, so we should all be good, okay? So right from here, we're going to practice the basic armbar technique, okay? Um, here in Saginaw, uh, I have a student, Kyle, who is also a blue belt, and he uh, sent me a video um, done by some of the Gracies, and it showed a, a little nuance that we, uh, we've been ignoring for all of our training, pretty much, and it really tightens up the arm bar. So I want to go over this with you, so that way I can make sure that your guys' arm bar doesn't suffer from the detriments that we've had, okay? So I've got a bag here. If you've got like a body pillow or something, that'll work great, okay? So I get into my mount position, and when we do our CPR arm bar, we act like we're doing CPR. I would have the person that's on the ground, their arm comes up here to push on my chest. I circle around that with my one arm, okay? So I've got one arm directly on their chest. This one comes around their arm on top of my own, okay? Now the next step we would do is we would bring this foot up, right? And then we try and spin from here to the side while holding on to that arm, right? So it would look like this, but you notice something. See how far away my hips are from where my target is, where the person I was in mount was? I don't want this space here, okay? The more space I have away from that shoulder, the less I'm going to be able to properly get the leverage on the elbow that I need, okay? So, one little trick that we saw that really changed things, we get into this position here. When we bring this foot up, it's very natural for us to want these toes to be pointing forward. But that's not what we want to do. See, we have a nice hip movement that we have to do here to spin ourselves to a perpendicular position, okay? So what I'm going to do, instead of having my toes face this way, I'm going to turn my knee so it faces outward, okay? See my toes running this way, okay? Because that's the orientation I'm going to finish with, okay? What this does is it opens up my hips so that when I easily, more easily can swing this around, I'm gonna stay closer here. And you can see how close my hips are as opposed to before where I was out much further, okay? So, one more time, working through these steps. One hand on the chest, their arms up here, so I'm gonna go around that arm on top of my own hand. I'm gonna bring this knee up, but I'm gonna turn my foot to the outside. Okay, from here, it's very easy. My hips are kind of like wound up almost. So all I'm gonna do is just swing this leg around, okay? Now, it seems kind of silly that it wouldn't be, you know, that there shouldn't be a problem here, but 
This is giving me a wind up. This is allowing my hips to store potential energy that I can transform into kinetic energy swinging this around, okay? So from here, this leg comes up. As I extend it, I'm gonna come around. And now I have a hold of their arm and I can flex my hips in to finish the arm bar, okay? So, as I said before, get yourself a nice pillow here, something that you can get on top of to practice that arm bar movement. If you have a partner, even better. Okay, make sure you take your time with that arm bar. It's very easy to hyperextend that elbow. So take your time, make sure they know how to tap, okay? So that's our review of the basic arm bar technique for today. Last thing we're gonna go into, I got my phone right here. I got a timer that I got set for 30 seconds. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do some cardio, all right? We're gonna do eight different types of exercises. We're gonna do 30 seconds of them and a 30 second rest in between, okay? So, I got this set for 30 seconds here. We are gonna go, the first thing we're gonna do is some jump lunges, okay? So, if you don't know what jump lunges are, we're getting a position like we're in a lunge right here. Usually I like to offset my arms so my back leg, my arm comes across. And you're gonna jump up, switch your hands, and switch your feet, okay? We wanna go fast. We want to try and get our heart beating. We're doing, like I said, we're doing cardio today. So it's important that you push yourself to the best of your ability. You get 30 seconds rest in between each of these exercises, okay? So I'm going to get going here with my timer. You guys ready? Get in position. Ready, set, and go. There you go. Back and forth. Push yourself, okay? If you could stay low, keeping that body moving, that's good. Okay, keep it going. Come on, 30 seconds of this, okay? You get 30 seconds rest in between. All right, keep moving. Make sure you're breathing too, okay? Holding your breath is not gonna help you here. Three, two, one, time. Okay, get 30 seconds rest, okay? Make sure you got a bottle of water on hand, that's gonna help you out too, okay? So, got 30 seconds rest here. We're gonna move into a plank up and down, all right? So, we're gonna start from a push-up position. You're gonna go down to your elbows and back up. That's it, okay? You're gonna do this for 30 seconds though, all right? So, we got about 10 seconds left. Get yourself in position. Ready, set. Go. Okay, mind your technique here. Try and keep the hands close to underneath your shoulders. It's gonna help you out, give you a better exercise, okay? Again, make sure you keep breathing the whole time. Try and keep the back straight during this too. Three, two, one. Okay, so 30 seconds rest. We're gonna move into ice skaters, okay? So, ice skaters, you're gonna start off to one side, jump over, and jump back, okay? Move the arms with you, going back and forth, all right? You got about 10 seconds. Get yourself in position. Five, four, Three, two, one, and go. Keep breathing, push yourself. That's it, keep moving. Keep moving, there's 30 seconds of rest after this. You got 10 seconds. Push yourself, push yourself. Three, two, one, time. Nice work, nice work, okay? Yeah, 30 seconds rest. Next up, we're gonna do lumberjacks. Okay, so, gonna get into a squat position. Hands together, over the shoulder. Come down with the squat, bring it up over the shoulder. Okay? Switching sides each time. We got 15 seconds. Grab that quick drink of water. We're gonna get ourselves in position. Okay. 
five, four, three, two, one, and go. That's it. Get that nice deep squat. Each downward motion. Make sure you breathe with this. Okay, we're halfway through. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Okay. All right, 30 seconds rest. Next, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to do some high knees, okay? So we're going to run in place. Get those knees up, all right? Okay, we're halfway through. So if you're breathing heavy, that's all right, okay? We're here to push ourselves. Do the best you can, all right? Got 10 seconds left, all right? Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Come on, keep those knees moving. Pump those arms. Get the knees up as high as you can. Okay, you're starting to get tired, that's all right. You gotta push yourself though. Come on, just 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Okay. Next, we're just gonna do a standard push-up, okay? So, nice push-up position. Hands underneath of your shoulders. Back nice and straight. Down and up, okay? If you get your nose to touch the floor, you're in really good shape, okay? If you gotta make it a little easier for yourself, drop those knees, that's okay. All right, we're here to push ourselves. Ready, five, four, three, two, one, and go. Come on, good push-ups. It's okay. All right, we got 10 seconds left, keep going. Those arms are burning, that's okay. Three, two, one, and time. All right, we're almost there. We're gonna do some long jumps, okay? So for long jumps, you're gonna stand at one side. You can use the arms, okay? Push yourself, how far can you jump? Just jump back and forth, okay? Simple exercises. Feeling good, feeling good. Make sure you're breathing. Got a little water, that's okay. We're almost there. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Long jumps. Three seconds rest. Last one. We're gonna do bear crawls, okay? So for the bear crawls, we're back here. Keep yourself up. Forward and back, all right? You got 15 seconds left. Almost there, good job today, okay? All right, this is a testament to not giving up and having good perseverance. All right, five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Come on, 10 seconds, keep it going.
and time. Nice work, guys. Nice work. So, a little bit of cardio there. You should feel your heart going. It's good for you, okay? Keep working out during these times. We're almost back to class. So, until I see you next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Have a great day, guys.